Hey everybody, welcome to the Break Brothers. We have a kind of tweener episode tonight. It is about half recap and half sort of a test. Uh, the last couple breaks that we've had, or a break in a video we've had, uh, I've had kind of wonky audio, unfortunately. Um, the audio would be sort of echoey in the beginning and then eventually sort itself out. And unfortunately it wasn't caught before uh, the videos went out and uh, during the streams. Uh, we saw the video levels look good. Uh, obviously, you're, you're broadcasting, and you don't want it to loop back around, uh, so you're not really hearing what's going out the other end. And once we reviewed them at the end there, unfortunately, we realized the uh, well, horse was out of the barn. There was not much we could do about the audio. So uh, we made some changes to the system on this side. Some uh, We had some issues, unfortunately. And additionally, we changed out microphones, and hopefully this has re remedied the issue. So uh, the point of today is to actually go over some things quickly that we uh, broke that uh, didn't have either audio or proper audio. So we'll just go over those really quickly. And, uh, well, that's, that's really about it. So we got two products here. Uh, the one that we broke the other day uh, that had audio but it was kind of weird was the 2019 uh, Panini Chronicles, which is a pretty cool product. It reminds me actually a lot of uh, leather and lumber uh, in that it um, there's a lot of kind of disparate cards. There's a, a, not a lot of base per se. It's just a lot of like uh, different parallels and inserts. There seems like in a pack you get like nine or ten different types of cards unfortunately so there's no real common thread to the to the set but that said they're great cards they remind me a little bit of uh, leaf in a way um, in the way they're presented but really nice cards we'll go into those in a second and the other here is the gold rush uh, baseball vault series 2 and this is a new product as well it just came out and this was three graded cards and uh, I broke this one I want to say about a week or two ago and it, it, for whatever reason, it was a live break. It, it was no audio broadcast with it, even though we had levels on our side. And that, I think that was really the start of our, our audio issue. So um, in any case, we're just going to go through these really quickly and let everybody go here. Tonight is the first night of football. It's Thursday night football. Uh, it's the Packers versus the Bears, and it should be a, a good game. If Aaron Rodgers can get in his rhythm, I think it'll be competitive. Otherwise, I think Chicago is probably going to win tonight. So, any case, that's football, but we're here for baseball tonight, and let's go over the 2019 Chronicles box here real quick. So, we did get some pretty cool um, just card cards out of this, the, not base, like I said, it's, it's kind of a hodgepodge, but we did get some great um, hits from it. It, it. Each box, you get three uh, autos and one memorabilia, so we'll go over those really quickly. And again, just, just some proper audio here, because I don't know how well it came across the other day. Um, here is a uh, Yusei Kikuchi uh, Cracked Ice, kind of almost like an Atomic uh, rookie card. Really nice. Uh, again, they're, they're nice cards. Uh, this one is numbered. And then if I can get it, it's 69 of 99. So, and again, um, you know, there's numbered Scooter Gannett. Uh, but going through these, it was pretty good. Uh, another Kikuchi. But beyond that, um, just kind of, like I said, a hodgepodge of different types of cards. Uh, did get some Eloys, and I believe uh, there's one there, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, and some other rookies. I think I had a get Tatis in here. I'd have to go back and look, but I don't want to go through these whole things. I, I more wanted to show you the hits, but again, a really nice set. Uh, they're kind of all over the place. Like I said, there's no real common thread through them. Um, you can kind of see it looks like just like a hodgepodge so there is some great cards but it's very tough to collect any one or any kind of one thread through it because they're just there's so many of them and again kind of like leather and lumber uh, a couple really great cards in the the packs but uh at the end of the day you ended up with kind of a lot of noise just a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that you may or may not want to collect and you're, you're kind of forced through that like you do our base cards but they're i don't know good set nevertheless i, I highly recommend these chronicles so anyway you do get three hits um and uh, there's supposed to be three autographs and one memorabilia. We did get three autographs, and we did get uh, one memorabilia card as well. Uh, but beyond that, we got a couple of nice cards that were kind of uh, a thicker stock. And that's, uh, again, pretty nice. And I'll show you another example of one of these that came in it. 
And this is uh, actually, we opened one hobby box. And so that was eight cards per pack, six uh, packs per box. So we opened a total of 48 cards. And it's Justice Sheffield. Again, a very nice card. Very heavy stock, uh, typical of uh, the higher end sets. Really nice. As far as the hits, again, we got a Juan Soto. And uh, I don't think these are hometown hero uh, autographs, and I no number on these, but still, nevertheless, nice cards. And for our autographs, we had gotten a Victor Reyes from Detroit. And that is a sticker. And uh, the other two were on card. First one is Kobe Allard, who recently got traded. But again, nice card. It's kind of a chrome with a relic in it. So uh, you do get three autos and one memorabilia. We were lucky to have two of the autos be relic as well. So uh, I'm not sure if that's a rare occurrence or whether that's par for the course. But uh, in this instance, that was what we got. And this one is great. Brandon Lau. And that's uh, from Tampa. And that's his rookie card. And that's a pretty nice patch. Very nice one. And that, uh, again, is one of your typical uh, thicker relic cards. So very nice. All in all, uh, I would I would have considered this very nice uh, to get this. And if on a consistent basis you could get cards like this out of it, uh, it's a pretty good buy. And again, that was uh, about 48 cards. The only ones, like I said, I... I mentioned in the uh, original broadcast uh, the only ones that I don't really dig out of are these I, to me the caricatures with the large heads um, looks like a sc score I'm not sure if that's like a kind of a reprint of some older ones but it doesn't really do it for me that kind of NBA jams look to it with the large heads but all in all very cool set that's what the box looks like if you see it out in the wild and this is what a uh, one of the packs looked like so there you go. And let's make way here for the uh, product that didn't have any audio when I uh, when we posted it uh, live there. And that was this Gold Rush uh, Vault Series 2. Let me reopen this real quick, show you what we got, and we'll let everybody out of there. And again, this is just to recap everybody on some uh, breaks that went kind of sideways a little bit on the audio. And at the same time, uh, just test out the new hardware and make sure that we're getting uh, reliable audio so that as we move forward with our breaks, uh, and keep an eye out for those on eBay, and um, uh, that we got something you know good that's worth watching. So, any case, the three cards we got, and this actually turned out really well because you're not guaranteed of graded cards, but you usually get like a one touch if it isn't uh, graded. So they're the three cards I ended up getting were 2017 tops five star. Jumbo Patch Autograph, Silver Rainbow, Manny Machado. And that's a Mint 9. Again, it's a pretty cool 5-star, nice patch. It's got a 9 auto. It's graded by Beckett. Again, a 2017 Manny Machado. That's a relic as well. Uh, next up, got a 1990 Rookie Frank Thomas. Autographed, authenticated auto by PSA. So that's really nice. So again, you're getting these two right out of the, out of the gates. Be pretty happy. Usually there's one filler dud in there, and it got kind of lucky. Francisco Lindor got a very nice gold frame card. 2018 Topps Transcendent autograph. It's a purple foil. And again, that side, it's a 9.5 and a 10 on the auto. So the card itself, 9.5, the auto, a 10. And again, that was, sorry about that, 9 out of 10 on the Lindor. Obviously, this one was not numbered. And this one here, I believe, is 9 out of 10 as well. Let's see if we can catch it in the light. And there you go, 9 of 10. Again, a pretty cool patch. Always good when you get a uh, multicolor patch, and a three three color patch is always nice. So, anyway, folks, we don't want you to go quick in and out here, and I just want to do a quick recap of some of the stuff that came down this week. Uh, we have some football that will actually be breaking here in the short term. Uh, it's on the way; it's not here yet. So keep an eye on eBay for that in our store. 
Um, as well, I believe we have a Bowman. We're going to do a Bowman baseball break next Wednesday, uh, 9-11, September 11th. And that's a full case of the Bowman Blasters. Um, that is 16 boxes. And we're also doing a half case, eight boxes of the Bowman Megas. Now, the Bowman Megas, the face value was nineteen ninety nine of those. If you go into places like Steel City, they're still thirty nine ninety nine. They're still drawing quite a bit because you got all those Wander Francos and, and other cards. Other guys, that's their first card. Um, several of the guys are in there like Vladdy and that, but it's not their first card, even though it is a, a collectible card. So keep an eye open at 24 total boxes. It's, uh, I believe, 1,552 cards total. It's quite a bit. So uh, get your rookies on. The Bowman's are always a nice product. There's all kinds of chromes and parallels and autos and all kinds of good stuff. Um, check it out in the listings, and that will be breaking next Wednesday, uh, September 11th. All right, everybody. You have a good night. Enjoy your football game if you're uh, watching football tonight. And uh, big football weekend coming up. So we're holding off on the breaks for this weekend. We'll see you guys next week on those. Uh, give everybody a, a chance to enjoy their, uh, their football. Uh, keep an eye open. We do have some uh, football will be opening soon. We're waiting for uh, a couple cases to get here first. Obviously, we don't want to list something we don't have in hand yet. Uh, we, don't, we don't do that. So in any case, thanks again. Take care. Everyone have a good night. Bye-bye.